My name is Vincent Everts, Trend Watcher and Program Director of the Blockchain Innovation Conference from June the 7th. And it's almost there. In seven, five days, we're going to be there. We have Money 2020 in between, but on Thursday, the 7th of June, uh, hosted by the Rabobank in Utrecht, we have the most fantastic conference for you. I will tell you what you can expect there. It's going to be long because we have so many speakers, but it's so interesting. And I first want to tell you, if you cannot come physically and meet the speakers and meet all the other uh, people and have our wonderful lunch and, and, and drinks, etc., then sh come with us. Come with us and visit us through the high-definition video screen because we're going to make sure that you can... Oh, it's almost like being there. Just the interaction is not there. So we want you to basically talk, listen to these people because they have fantastic things to say. And I'll give you a quick introduction what you can expect. First, you can expect a lot of nice people. We're going to be sold out. We're almost there. It's about 20 tickets left out of 400. So it's going to be sold out. And we have about 45 fantastic speakers for you. Now, let me see. Let me show you what you're going to get. First, we're starting with a big idea. David Birch is going to give a presentation about the $10 trillion in opportunity when governments and financial industry are tokenizing all our assets. You know, all the commercial real estate, the factories, they're going to be tokenized, and he's going to talk about it because that's his analysis that the industry is really busy with that. So that's a big, huge idea. We also have our guest uh, host, Wiebe Dreyer, the CEO, who's going to really announce a practical project which is really good for the small and medium companies. And I, I've seen it, and I think it will be very useful. It's really production, and that's the theme, to go from proof of concept to production. At the end, the very last one is Vinay Gupta. And Vinay Gupta, you can uh, basically see a video which I, uh, which I had with him, and he's going to talk what society will we have in 10 years when blockchain is just everywhere nobody's talking about it but it will be everywhere what influence does he have so we're ending with a big idea too and in between we have so many nice speakers who are practically showing things like Leanna Kamp who's putting diamonds on the blockchain to prove their identity for a long time um, Constantin who's really enthusiastic about all these startups and how they're helping the big companies to innovate so that's really good and then we have, of course, Crypto Kitties, who basically brought down the, the, the Ethereum network. We have Marluz. Marluz is having a fantastic government program. She came up with speakers. I, I did an interview with her here. You can watch it. And with Alex Sharon from the Indian government. One billion people with an identity. One billion people who are using very smart payment system. And they're totally redesigning the government structure around the blockchain with the intense support of the Prime Minister. I think that is really interesting. And then we have Rachel from the blockchain, uh, the blockchain lab of the World Bank, who's everywhere all over the world, showing practical implementations, how companies, how governments can be more transparent and very, solve very in, important problems. So take a look at her interview. That's, I think it's fascinating. Connie Dorstein takes five business cases and really goes in depth with him during the business uh, track. And we have the Dutch Central Bank, who's talking about what should we do with regulation, but not only what the central bank is thinking about the Netherlands, but all the central banks in Europe, because he was the chairman of one of the groups. We talk about healthcare. Pradeep is saying, how can we simplify healthcare and make it more affordable for everybody? Dennis de Vries talks about blockchain projects inside companies and how can you eval evaluate the effectiveness of it. And Bart Melling from Gartner is talking about what is now on the minds of the ICT directors and companies and how are they working on it. Franz Kampen, Kampen from uh, IBM is leading the technical track, but he's also having a lot of very interesting cases. And uh, I think that the Koopman case, where the CEO is also presenting with him, where they take all the VIN numbers of cars and put all the information around them, is extremely interesting. Mark van der Gijs talks about, he's, he started three public companies nowadays, and he started the biggest mining company outside China, and he will talk about what's happening with the financial world the big, the traditional financial world and the crypto world, how are they being connected? How fast is that going? We also need to, need to look at fraud. And Bruno, Scar uh, Bruno um, Zvork is, is, uh, is telling us how he investigated that 90% of the ICOs are fraud, how you can recognize them or they're delusional and they will not make it. And, uh, and he also, that's one thing he's talking about. And the other one is he talks about the top 10 blockchain platforms which are there Level 1, 2, uh, Generation 1, 2, and 3, really fantastic. Mark Tavener from Bitfury, Bitfury the biggest mining uh, company 
in the world is also talking about what kind of support they have for companies who want to start their own blockchain projects and support platforms. And uh, we have fantastic um, uh, ICOs, which I've uh, Richard Castellain is the expert on that. And let me show you the, uh, the, uh, the ICOs we're having. And first, VisaCoin, who's having a solution for uh, music festivals and payment systems there. We have iCasting, who's putting all the, if you need all the, the, in, the extra people for movies or for things, you can basically cast them there. They have a system. We have the Career Chain, very interesting company. They went public after only four years, and they now started their own uh, platform with their own coin and ICO. Very professional. We have Atrace. Who's, who's fighting fraud in the affiliate marketing uh, ICO, also a very professional uh, group of people. We have Trustier, who is basically putting reputation. How can you be proof that you're a reputable company and a career? And we have Mijn Vastgoed, who is only working in Holland. It's a Dutch ICO and who's tokenizing real estate, real business, real estate. And that's something we really need. And Tyken, who was there last year, they're putting identity of referees in there. In the uh, refugees in the uh, on the blockchain and they're also doing it now for commercial uh, companies and they're doing an ICO extremely interesting group of people so then we have ING and ABM who are doing a very practical uh, product financial product in the trade financing we have Rutger van Zuidam who's going to talk about who and he's bringing one of the winning teams with him uh, we have Vattafall, who's talking about the energy sector and charging to put it on the blockchain, which I tried to myself. The CEO of Copeman is presenting together with IBM. Arush is having an energy track with lots of innovation from the energy uh, sector. And um, we um, have uh, Jeroen Bronkhorst uh, from HP together with uh, um, one of their clients who are, who are looking at heart attack, you know, and analyzing x-rays with heart attack and doing the tracking and tracing of the diagnosis on the blockchain. Extremely useful and very important. So those kinds of people we have, we have people from IBM who are, doing, who are showing the background of the technical, or the technical case from, uh, from, the, um, from the IBM project. We have Unchain IO, a very interesting startup company who makes sure that the blockchain gets connected to the outside world, to the Oracle, so that you don't have garbage in, garbage out, but you can have a selection uh, which is really reliable. We have Jan Paternotte also talking about what does the government need to do to regulate and not too much, not too little. So I think that's really, uh, that's really interesting. Leo Dijkstra was last year on stage when Tenet had a practical case. Where are they now after one year? I'm gonna ask them, uh, I'm gonna ask that them. Um, we have all the ICOs which we talked about. So that's really interesting. And um, the Rabobank is also coming with a second chain a second uh, chain, a second case on the blockchain. So, I think we're having an amazing, uh, we're having an amazing schedule. So it's it's really going to be interesting, and you can see all the videos about all the people who are coming. But it's going to be a live stream. Everybody's going to be interviewed. If you're not there, you can take care of all the knowledge because we want to share the knowledge as much as we can. Uh, but we also like to have you there and basically drink with us and eat with us and be with us and interact. We have a fantastic. Uh, system of delegated uh, delegated presentations. After the speaker is done, for 20 minutes, he goes outside and 20 people can pick up a headset and go and debate with him and go ask him questions. So you can be there and you have extra sessions with the people you find really interesting. Of course, you can go further. 20 more tickets are left. So uh, we also have a couple of student tickets. We want students there. So we have 20 normal tickets and I think uh, five student tickets left. So um, it's going to be sold out. It's going to be wonderful. In between, we have Money 2020, where I will do a number of presentations. So enjoy next week, one way or another. Come to the Blockchain Innovation Conference and enjoy, because this is the year where we go from proof of concept to production, and we're going to enjoy that. See you there.